Hey, what's going on everybody? It's BDF44 coming at you with another video. So I'm sitting here doing homework on the Cavaliers and everything's going well with that. I'll have that video to you soon, but I just saw something on uh, online that, that made me say, whoa, I got to do a video on this. Uh, so Michael Porter Jr. is going to be receiving, it looks like, where they're negotiating um, a five-year deal with him for the New York, uh, excuse me, for the Denver Nuggets. Denver Nuggets, he will be staying with the team he's at, uh, signing an extension there. Uh, it looks like it may be the Supermax, y'all. It looks like they're going to give him the 207 five-year super duper max i thought you had to qualify a certain you have to do certain things that i don't think he's done yet to get that 207 mark but what do i know i don't know i haven't done my homework on that but it, it seems to me that the criteria is stronger than what he's been able to to do, to show at this point um but i'm not mad at, at, at him for sure if he can get that money that's great denver is putting themselves in a really really tight spot though and as i said they had to get his money right but paying aaron gordon put them in a position to where they're really relying upon those two contracts much more severely than i'm comfortable with um uh, i like um michael porter offensively he's going to be one of the most legit scores going forward he's, he's going to be great scoring the ball my concern with him is of course the same concern that we've always had with him it's the back now of course he's had surgery and he's played well and he hasn't had any issues on that back in a while um so that's not something that we're concerned about today and obviously the denver nuggets have been working with him they know him he's in their system they have his body they know what's going on with him so uh they wouldn't invest in, in him if to this degree if they weren't certain this was behind them um so i'm just going to lean on their expertise in regards to that uh my concern now is just their cap situation how if this team Michael Porter Jr., Jamal Murray coming off a knee, Nikola Jokic, and Aaron Gordon. They're going to have to win a championship. You're investing arguably more money than you even can. I don't know how they're doing this, to be honest with you, because I know that Aaron Gordon just signed, a, 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 if I'm not mistaken, he was at 90 or something like that. They already have Jokic. I'm sure they've maxed him out. And if he hasn't been maxed out yet, I think he already has, it's going to be 207. Anything less than that is absurd for him. So he already got those two max players right there, right? And then you got, of course, uh, this particular contract. You're talking about a price tag without doing the numbers? Upwards of half a billion bucks, maybe more, on players who have not won anything together. I, I, I don't think that they're wrong for wanting to invest in Michael Porter this way, um, Jamal Murray this way, and certainly not Jokic this way. But the Gordon contract look crazy right now when you consider him paying this man 207? That Gordon contract is is, is, is not helpful as, as you would think it would be. Because what you, you're essentially asking Gordon to do is not score as much as he's capable of doing so that he can play defense um, in the in the Grant role that you guys lost Grant to, to Detroit, so you need somebody to replace him. So you're asking him to be a $90, $90 million defensive stopper when that's not even really his specialty. Yes, does he play defense? Yes. Is he a strength of his? Yes. Is he uh, a big Tony Allen or, or a young Draymond Green or, you know, Kevin Garnett or something? No. Aaron Gordon's not that. Aaron Gordon is an offensive player who can play defense, not a defensive player that you send at the best guy and tell him to stop him. No. That's just something he was forced to do in Orlando because they didn't really have a whole lot going on down there. Now, he's been able to do it for you guys to a degree, but at $90 million when you have these other contracts? No. Um, and we knew this was coming. I just didn't know that they were going to give uh, Michael Porter the Supermax. I thought Michael Porter would have to take some type of pay cut in order for this all to make sense. Maybe they would give him 150 and just tell him they'd get him on the back end or something. They're talking about maxing him all the way out, keeping him in the door for the for the long haul. I love it from a basketball standpoint. If, if you're thinking about, like, in an ideal world, we can keep all our guys and keep them long term. And it's a beautiful thing. We can bring another guy in from another team and add him to this mix. And we got a nice situation for the next four years that we know is is potentially special. From that perspective, yeah, you, you love what Denver's doing and you know they can win this way. But because of the salary cap and all of that, it becomes a situation where it's like, if you don't, boy, did you just throw away a lot of money and give away a lot of flexibility for players who I'm not certain I'm relying on their bodies to be durable like that at that price. I'm not. Jokic is fine. You're going to give Jokic what he's deserving. He just won MVP. He's probably going to win a couple more before he retires. 
He's going to make everyone else better. He's one of the best shooters in the world, and he's bigger than everybody else. So you're going to pay him his money, okay? That is never going to be in question. What I saw from Jamal Murray against Donovan Mitchell makes it very clear to me that he's also one of those guys. You just set his money aside. You pay it to him. You don't think about that. Even with the knee injury, I don't care. Jamal Murray is one of the best most gifted killers in all of basketball today and he's only going to get better he's still very young and that knee injury ain't going to kill him it ain't he's going to continue to be who he is especially with the way things are in my opinion with you know scientific breakthroughs that we've had medically with, with knees and stuff he'll be fine they take their time with him he's going to be jamal murray again he was never a high leaper like that anyway he's a guy that stays on the ground lays the ball up jukes you out of your shoes and shoots all over the place that he will still be able to do and like I said, Michael Porter Jr. is a fantastic scorer. I think he has crazy upside scoring the ball. I think the way the Hall of Fame's worked out, his skill set, if he makes wins a championship, makes a bunch of all-star teams, he'll be in the Hall of Fame. He's that to me. So I'm not saying he's not worth this money in the long term, although he hasn't proven that he's deserving of that just yet. This is like a Ben Simmons type of situation in a different way, though. Because he's a more fluent player, you're not worried about him not fitting and stuff like that. You know what he can't do, so you're not going to be sitting here asking him to be something he's not. But at the same time, it's like, when you're giving 207 away, do you know who's going to be getting 207? You know who just got 207? Luka Doncic, Trey Young, you know, guys like Giannis. Are you sure Michael Porter's that? You're paying 207 to your number two or number three guy. Uh-uh. No, that's a bad decision. I'm not going to lie. That's a bad decision. Now, is he a number two guy? Number one, is he, Can he be a number two guy for the rest of his career? Or for the rest of his duration of his, uh, his, his prime? Of course, I think that. I think he can be, a, like I said, multiple all-star teams. And, again, I don't look at him as somebody who's going to be an all-around player. He ain't playing defense like that. But Dirk didn't play defense like that. Luka doesn't play defense like that. I don't dock people for what it is they don't do when they're elite. I just work it into my equation and, and move accordingly. James Harden ain't known for playing defense. You get the point. I don't, I'm not going to dock him for that. But I just need to see him be what it is that I believe him to be, which I've yet to see, not that level, before I give him that number if I'm that team. Now, if I'm a different team and I don't have anything, yeah, hell yeah. Like, like if I'm OKC, I'm giving him that money and I'm not going to think twice about it because I have other cap space that I can bring other stuff to him. It's like shaking it that... Um, Contract that he got, ain't nobody blinking. Shea's deserving. And I could argue Michael Porter Jr. and Shea, I don't think there's too much fall off from either one of them. They're both pretty much got the same type of upside, different reasons, but they're, they're both headed to the moon. So it's not about him getting his money at all. It's just about when you give it to him. <laughs> right now, I don't know about that. And, um, and that you give it to him when you're in a position to either basically win a championship or basically in a position to contend. Now, I think they are, but I don't know that they could beat the Lakers. Not this year. I don't know that. I don't know that you can you can beat Phoenix necessarily. I'm not ready to throw Phoenix out of here just yet. Uh, Golden State is very much a problem. If you don't realize it, you will soon. So is it, there's the West is tough. Denver's in the mix. I still have them in the mix. Like they're a top five team, in my opinion, in the West. But what does that do for you when you have a yourself capped this to this degree? And the players that you have, two of them have really, really extensive injury issues. And, and that's the thing. And, and, and Aaron Gordon is just a guy, man. I'm telling you, I like him. And he's earned his contract because of all the years that he put in Orlando. I don't dock him for being in that situation. He was... He was drafted in that situation. He stayed in that situation. It was what it was. He got the most of himself there. So he, in this league, has earned his money. Should it have been Denver giving it to him this year? Not when you had all this that you had planned. Not not at all when you're considering giving uh, Michael Porter the Supermax the same year. That is a bad decision. Simple and plain. It's just not good. Uh, now, if they win the championship, all goes out the window. Everybody's happy. You live with any price tag that comes with that. Denver believes they can win a championship. You got to go out on what you believe in. But that's a, that's not a belief I share. As a, as a fan, uh, I think they're close. I think they can win a championship in this tenure, which is really dope that they have these guys together for the next, what, four or five years. They know what they have. 
Three out of four players, I'm on board, you keep them, and you ride out. You leave that fourth contract open to bring players to them. You don't cap yourself all the way out with just four players, fam. That is not smart. And if they haven't played Jokic, if they haven't paid Jokic, the only way out of this is to let him walk or trade either Jamal Murray or Michael Porter within the next year or two. You have to get rid of those contracts if you have not paid Jokic. My brain isn't telling me the truth here. I don't remember if they paid Jokic. But I'm assuming one tells me they've already done that. He should be at five years, 207. That should have been done last year. So I'm thinking that's done. I believe it's done. And if that's the case, they're capped out probably higher than anybody else. Probably higher than Lakers right now if they do this. Honestly. Probably higher than Brooklyn if they do this. So you would tell me what the numbers are. I have to look. If they do 207, I hear that's being negotiated. Congratulations to him. You know, to, to, to Porter and his family, that's awesome, beyond awesome. That's a dream come true, and it's, it's what you play for. Besides the championship, you want this. Denver, for him, great, no problem. He was drafted there, home, fine. No issue there. I don't have any problem with him wanting to stay there. At that price, for Denver, that's the only thing. That's the only thing. That's the only thing. So, that's what I got, man. I just wanted to say that. I'm going to get back to my home, homework here. I'm almost done with that, so I'll be jumping on here and giving you this Cleveland video probably within the next hour, hour and a half. I thank you guys for watching me. My name is BDF44, and I'm out.